<laughs> oh boy. Looks like uh, <laughs> this chapter is like almost uh, starting off with a bang. <laughs> Here. <laughs> well, looks like we got trouble. <laughs> Ten days. <laughs> Dawn of the first day. Seventy-two hours remain. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's the wrong game. <laughs> oh dear. Of course, Lin Lady Lindis wants to help because, well, <laughs> yeah, such a noble speech. Ah, oh, shut up. Yes, we are, Lynn. <laughs> and yeah, seriously, saying shush about the whole noble thing. Seriously. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh ho! Yes. Here's something we haven't seen before. The combat prep screen. Nice. It's it's about it's about time it showed up. Yo guys, it's your buddy Bowser Man. Sorry for the long, you know sorry for the long, you know, lead up before the intro, but welcome back to Fire Emblem. I'm still pretty pissed off at everyone for those stupid levels they got last time. With the sole exception being Lynn. Yeah. Don't think I forgot that one HP only level up, sane. Ugh. Honestly, I think I think in the long run, unless Sane gets some really good, like super duper uber, like level up with something, he might end up being dumped, you know, sometime soon. You know, because I'm probably gonna end, I'm probably gonna end up using Kent over him. As a matter of fact, sorry, Sane, but. I think I'd rather take Raph on this level. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to need a skill more. Alright. Do we need to move anything around? It's awesome here. Well, that's... Well, since I'm not taking Sane into this level, I should probably see if he has anything that someone else might need. Well, why don't you give Will that uh, that vulnerary in case we in case we encounter any trouble? And your other one, yeah, just uh, give it to Urk. <laughs> Still have that door key we didn't use. I'll let Saint hold on to that so it isn't. You know, Clogging up my inventory. Okay, looks good. Of 
fortune. We can use that right now. Map. We can have a look at the map, see what kind of foes we're up against. An archer there, so we need to be careful with, uh, uh, with Lorena. She'll probably handle this axe user pretty good. Uh, as you know, no, not her uh, sword user. She'll handle the swordsman just fine. That's what I meant. There's a mage. Another axeman. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure all these brigands with the axes, they're probably going to be uh, going after this village, so we got to get there quick. Here's the boss. I think, uh, I think uh, that's how that's said. Yeah, I have no idea how that's pronounced, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> There's some shamans around here, so... This will be awfully, uh... Be, uh, uh, very interesting. Alright. I suppose that will do for uh, for the prep. But let's uh, get to the actual battle. Hello, who's this? <laughs> Oh well, yeah, y you know what, Lynn? The dark arts are awfully uh, <laughs> formidable. <laughs> Just ask, you know, like uh, <laughs> Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> they they got an entire class you know, devoted to like <laughs> defense against the dark arts. Who's this guy? And yes, for those of you who are wondering, this is a man right here, not a woman. Japan is really weird about character appearances like that, so. If you got it wrong as a kid, don't be ashamed of yourself. I'm pretty sure it's happened to everyone at some point. Lucius. <laughs> oh, jeez, I was just talking about freaking Hogwarts and stuff. Now, now, now we have a guy here named Lucius. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't have a magic wand and a cane or something like that. <laughs> Yep, we're, we're probably gonna, we're probably going to uh, need his help to take that shaman out. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam! And yes, as you can see, just like, you know, <laughs> with the weapon triangle, there are different kinds of magic in this game, and they form a sort of a triangle, too. I think it's the... Trinity of Magic, I think it's what they call it, but light magic is effective against dark magic, dark magic effective against, uh, and I, th I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, and uh, what's it called? Uh, something magic, it's the, uh, it's the L. It's the elf. Uh, uh, it's the elf lamental magic that uh, uh, Urk uses, and that magic is effective against the light magic. So yeah, it's the it's the uh, it's the uh, trinity of magic there. Uh, and my magic eye, I think it's called. Uh, <laughs> Uh, feel free to uh, correct me on that. It's not an easy word for me to say for some reason. Uh, it, it just could not, you know, uh, it, uh, it just would not uh, uh, come to mind for some reason. Anyway, Nils is a bard, and he's going to show off what, what makes him unique. He can play for a unit, and that unit can, can attack again. I believe it's called <laughs> refreshing a unit. So we're going to take advantage of that and. Damn! Take off that shaman. Because shaman is stupid. Oh. <laughs> Here we 
and we have a vendor over here, so we can uh, <laughs> restock on a few things. It's good. Probably grab a, a few more <laughs> Bolinaries. This is Archer. Oh, shh. Uh, Marina, you should probably move back. You're kind of, uh, you're kind of in the range of that Archer right now. How do I want to proceed? God, everyone can't take that Archer out, so we don't have him. Wait at the vendor, because the vendor will like, give him some avoid. Irks in range the Archer too, so let's have him back. So we don't get shot. Everybody move, Everybody move up a few steps. Have Sarah use her staff on Lucius. Because Sarah needs uh, the experience. Experience is at a premium for her. And by the way, this chapter, I do believe this chapter has a side chapter you can unlock, but you have to beat it in, I think it's 10 turns or less. I'm not entirely sure, but you have to beat it fairly quickly, so I'm probably going to be a little more faster and aggressive in this chapter than I, than I normally am. And also because I want to say that, you know, I don't... I really want to save that uh, village up there for uh, yeah, for freaking freaking destroys it. So kind of have to uh, get a move on. Can have Raph. Yeah, Raph can easily kill that archer with a critical hit. <laughs> oh, Raph, you are so awesome. There. Forward. We're gonna cross forward. Now the arch is dead. Rafts taking a hit. So let's go ahead and peel uh, him up. Get some experience going. We're Miss Sarah. She's gonna go there. Dorcas forward. Lynn, forward. Let's have Nils play for Lynn so she can move again. <laughs> and uh, she can uh, uh, go out in front. Ugh. They're getting close to that village. I uh, should probably uh, 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 pick up the pace here. Okay, Will cannot take that guy out. So I guess he can just strike at him. Perfectly fine. Lorena. Lion. With the Iron Lance. Bam! Take him out. Nice one, Lorena. <laughs> That's our little Pegasus Knight getting stuff done. Okay, she's arranged that uh, regular right there, so hopefully he goes for her and hopefully he goes for her and not the village. She does have the lance on, she's got the weapon triangle, but that's a disadvantage. I think it'd be better to put uh, Kent out in front, so we go for him. Forward. Raph, move forward. Dorcas, move up. Sarah, move up. Lucius. Oh wait, I want to visit the vendor. I think I'll have Irk do that. Uh, two Molinaries and another heal staff, because that thing's going to run out pretty quick. I want to play for Urk so he can move, move a little further. Alright. 
Or can go there. Yeah, actually, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that side chapter opens up if we beat this in less than 15 turns. So, so if any luck, you know, you guys should make it in time. This house right here, I believe there's somebody very special in there. Right now, I'll send Kent to visit the village. <laughs> Here we get a pure water. That might actually come in handy when we go to pick on Heinz down there. <laughs> uh, actually, I probably shouldn't move for wrap down that bar. So he might get shot at. Actually, he might get attacked by these two. Uh, that takes a risk if we want to actually <laughs> if we want to actually beat this in time. So. so I want to risk that. Where can this guy go? There. It's a shame that we don't have a longbow, but well, actually, what we could do, since there's no archer down here, ah, uh, yeah, if we could do this, they won't be able to strike at the arena, which is here. She can. This with a javelin on an 82. <laughs> okay. I guess that can happen. We're just gonna move forward. Nails can play for Lucius, so he can move again. One step closer. Alright, he's gonna attack Lorena. And miss on a 75! Ha ha! Oh, but he actually double attacked. He actually doubles her. That's not good. But yeah, that, that's the one uh, benefit of the javelin is that can attack up close or or from far away. You know, like uh, she just did there. She stabbed the swordsman, but tossed it at the mage. So, yeah, that's the one advantage of those javelins. Alright, how do I want to do this? That water tower, she's almost safe from those guys. So I think I'll have her move in and take that mage out. Wow. She can double attack him with the Iron Lance on. Jeez. Yeah, these enemy mages suck, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> you can't even you can't even scratch her, and she can double attack him with that big heavy lance. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> hey! Five stat level up for Florina. Nice! That's an improvement from last episode. <laughs> and then if I put Lin here, with the Iron Sword on, she can easily take out this guy. Actually, her against him on those mountain tiles, that'll be interesting to watch. And I'm pretty sure he's going to go for her instead of Florina, because if he goes for uh, Florina, he's uh, going to have the Weapon Triangle at <laughs> this advantage, even though he can even though he can strike her twice. I don't really think you know, these enemies would be that stupid. I yeah, really do. Go after the girl who could double attack you, or the person you can double attack, but you have the weapon triangle disadvantage. <laughs> that is very interesting. Oh, such a big Lucy's there. She, she needs back up. Alright, everyone move forward. Let's have Kent. 
Actually, Ken's been getting a lot of experience lately. I don't really know if I want to take it anymore, so... Let's let Raph take this kill. Because we have to... Because <laughs> we have to obviously give some kills to everyone else. Alright, forward. Yep. He went for Lin. And he scored a hit, but swiftly died. <laughs> so yeah, that probably wasn't the smartest move on his end, but eh. <laughs> He's a so stupid computer, they tend to do stuff like that. I think she'll be fine there. Especially if I have Florina go down and take out the shaman. I guess that's the one thing about the Shaman. They are slow, slow, so fucking slow. Like, like, Lorena with the Islands can double them. That's how slow they are. They are... Jeez. <laughs> like, seriously, in terms of agility, a fucking turtle outspeeds these guys. <laughs> it's not even freaking subtle. So gonna move forward. Actually, Nils is falling behind a little bit, so let's have Raph grab him and move forward. So we can speed this up a little bit. Will and Sarah can bring up the rear. We'll have Kent take point. And I believe in this house. Ah! Look at this guy. This guy looks important. He's got blue hair and fancy armor. <laughs> and he mentioned somebody named uh, <laughs> Elliewood. Huh. That one's important. All right, that guy's gonna heal some health because he's not a fortress. Can't make a step back, so we're gonna can't attack it from there. But uh, he's gonna barely scratch her, so. Well, whatever. I don't think this other one can reach over here, so. Arena. Can go ahead. And take this guy out. And then heal some health as she's uh, sent on the fortress. Yeah. <laughs> well, one dead shaman. Nice thing. Let's move our guys forward. Alright. Lorena is hurting a little bit, but she should but she should be able to she uh, should be okay. Because uh, you know she's not fortress. Everyone else come forward. Should be able to get that side chapter. Let's Florina regen some health. I don't want to get in range of that guy just yet. Have to move forward, and then, then for your rush attack. Him, so, one over. No, nope, we're not gonna stay there. I guess this is not a path where we can go. Work that way. Get this forward. Rihanna could rush that guy right now, but I'd rather she wait this turn and gets pelt back. We're gonna rush it this turn, so I'm gonna have Sarah get Florina back to full health before we go after that shaman over there. Because Sarah needs the experience. Alright, Florina. Put that javelin on. Kill that shaman. 
don't miss, preferably. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe she missed on an 82. <laughs> That's redonkulous. It's redonkulous. I'm not sure what that shaman's gonna go after. He may try to target Raph. Raph, even though that would be pretty foolish. Yeah, I know if Will moves forward, he's definitely a, a he's definitely gonna get targeted. So let's not do that. Actually, here. If Nils play for Lucius, then I bet Lucius can go on <laughs> if I take off that shaman. Ooh, no, that would just give me range of this guy. Yeah, but who cares? He's got the weapon triangle advantage. He should be fine. Oh, uh, yeah. I think, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I reckon, uh... A Lucius will be okay. Because I don't think the boss will be able to do much to him. There we go. Alright, victory's in sight. Let's forward. Don't move her there, or else <laughs> you might get attacked. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. All you can do is a paltry brain damage, and you can't even hit Lucius. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this guy will, will be a much of a threat. In fact, we don't want to give a kill to him. Maybe could give it to Florina. Let's see what she can do. Uh, she's just some Lance. Uh, Alright, just have to weaken him down a little. I'll probably use Will to do that so he can gain a, a level up. He'll uh, take some damage in return, but Hey, okay, he's uh, gonna get hit for 12, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure Sarah can heal, heal him up. Huh. That was a pretty nice... Uh, that was a pretty decent level up for Will. I like it. I like it. Let's work out of the way. Sarah, bring her over. Drop her there. Oh, although that puts well, that puts a range at him. So, oh well. But wanna, I really want to try and do some healing, get Sarah a little bit more experience, but. I guess it wasn't. I, I guess it wasn't meant to be. So, <laughs> Lorena missed. <laughs> Not too happy about that. <laughs> uh oh. Got Nils. Play for her. <laughs> she can try again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give him, give him another try. There we go, got him. Ah, uh, it looks like they already took Ninian. Drat, that's not good. Huh. That was a nice uh, a level up for Lorena. Uh, not bad. I should get some decent level ups for one. God, I think the last time was just a train wreck. Oh no. Oh? What's this? 
Hey, hey, look at this guy! <laughs> Who are you? Ah, this is Elliewood. <laughs> East guy, <laughs> that other guy I mentioned earlier. And his father is the, uh... <laughs> and apparently his father is the... is the Marcus of <laughs> Beret. So, <laughs> nice. Uh, Marcus or Marquis, I think it is. It might be Marky, I'm not sure. I'll have to I'll look into that between episodes. Ah, so epic fate to black as we tell El as we tell our tale to Elliewood. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> uh, yes, I. Ah, uh, yes. If there's a bit of a, you know, you know, if there's a, if there's a bit of a heritage, you know, dispute going on. You know, in Kaylin, it probably wouldn't look good for you know the, for, you know, you know, for, you know, let the Prince of Parade to like uh, get involved. It could cause a bit of a, <laughs> it could cause a, cause a, a bit of an uproar. <laughs> ah, thank goodness, <laughs> thank goodness. Indians all right. <laughs> ah. Huh. ah, so a Ninian is a dancer, eh? Same, not that kind of dance. Get your brain out of the gutter. She's your one HP level up freaking womanizing ass. Ugh. Seriously, guys, Sane is gonna end up getting himself in trouble at this rate. Jeez. Ah, uh, yeah, she calls it a normal dance, but it does the same thing as Nil's music. It allows... It, it allows the unit to attack again. It... it refreshes them. I believe <laughs> that's the term. Ah, uh, she twisted her ankle. Uh, yeah, Lynn. These two c could <laughs> certainly help us. <laughs> And apparently these two were bitten by a uh, radioactive spider somewhere, because apparently <laughs> they had spider sense. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I got a mid-million of them today. <laughs> yeah, I think we already know what Sane's answer would be, because... He wants to see a, a Ninian dancing later. Again, get your brain out of... Uh, let the gutter, you cad. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. So now Lynn's going to uh, uh going to uh, uh, take us aside and
So now we have to decide, do we go on the side quest to save her ring? Of course we fucking do! We always freaking take the side quest. If you miss a side quest, not only are you missing out on potential treasure, but that's more guys to kill. That's more experience for your units. I mean, I mean, you need experience to, you know, level your soldiers up. Uh, otherwise, you know, otherwise they'll just get slaughtered later. As might happen to Sane if his... If his, if his freaking levels don't start picking up the pace. Alright, so we're going to our first side chapter of the game. We still have some time left, so we're gonna do that right now. Chapter 7X. Dear, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna meet some new foes here. The Black Shadow. Whoa, that's a lot of units. Oh boy. <laughs> Interesting. So it seems the stakes are high here. And as you may have saw, there, there was a chest in there, so we'll have to bring Matthew with us. So depending on that, on how that plays out, I, I may have to bench a bench of Sane again. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll uh, bench Wrath. I'm not sure. He's pretty. He's he's fairly far ahead and far ahead in level, so it would probably be wise not to give him too many more kills, or else everyone else would fall behind. Yes, I do. All right. Hmm. All right. <laughs> this this map might be a little tough cuz so we check the map. Archer there. Well, okay, it's just the one archer, so. So yeah, I don't I don't think I'll have to worry about uh, uh, Lorena too much, but we got a lot of guys in here. We got swordsmen, got guys with lances and swords, axe users, mages. There's a thief up here that we have to watch out for because he's gonna try and beat us. To this chest, but if we're fast enough, and assuming Matthew's fast enough, he, he can actually steal that thief's lockpick, which is pretty cool. Uh, speed nine versus speed eleven. Yeah, I think Matthew can't uh, can't uh, take that lockpick, so I'm gonna try and uh, uh, get that if I can, because that lockpick is not gonna last forever. We will need to replace it eventually, so. Try and deal that if I can. Of course, someone will have to go with Matthew to take out these guys. Especially this loser. Yeah, you can see all the cracked walls where we can make some entrances to attack people. To like attack people, so. This map. 
not going to be super easy, but we can, we can certainly take a lot of stuff of people with us. All right, Sane, I'm counting on you to not fuck it up <laughs> with your levels again. If you do, oh man, I don't even want to, you don't even want to know what the hell I would freaking do. Unfortunately, I'm gonna bench Rap for this one because he is a he is a he is a little high level. I think some of our other units, especially Ur, could really use a chance to catch up. So, Lucius, you're a damn behind too. I hear a dog barking out there. I don't know much what's going on. Let's see. Give that to him. Give that to her. That to him, so he'll definitely need it. Some of our other units have some pretty interesting items. He has got a sword for some reason. You don't need that. Lynn doesn't need it. Uh, he's a sword. I think I'll give it to Sane. He's the only other sword user. There's nothing else to trade. I think someone had a pure water. We don't really need that right now, so I'm gonna hand that over to Lucius. <laughs> okay, what else? Any other combat prep that needs to be done? Uh, no, I think we're okay. We as far as items go, so we got our items, we got our units, I think we got our units, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to start, let's get going, oh, listen to that music, yeah, we're not, uh, we are not uh, fighting outdoors this time, we are indoors in close quarters, There's lots of guys around, so, Alright, saying I'm really counting on you to not screw up again. I don't think I want to rush this way. I'm gonna get hit by that guy and that guy probably. Yeah. Yeah. I just have someone rush forward. They're just uh, gonna get wombo comboed. Smart move would be to put Sane here, so fight that axe guy. Or brigand. Uh, oh, three minutes could go in this direction. We'll move forward. And Matthew. I'm gonna move that way. And go forward. Sort out. Ideally, I'd like to have Dorcas, you know, take on the axe. Take on that spear user. Because uh, he'll have the weapon triangle advantage. So let's play for Dorcas so he can... So he can move up there and attack him. At least move right there so he's in position to fight him. And have everyone go down this way so so we and don't get blindsided by this guy. He's got a thunder tone that's a little stronger than the fire tone. We'll actually do some damage, so definitely won't want to be wary of that. That guy's breaking out on the wall. Ow. And dead. <laughs> that attack animation is so brutal. Dorcas just plants that axe in his head. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, here comes the brigand. This thing gets hit, unfortunately. Fails to fails to get a double attack, so. Yeah. 
That's unfortunate. Here comes the thief. Watch out for him. Uh, Kent. Uh, yeah, I use your lance and uh, hit the wall. And Dorcas can. Yeah, toss a hand axe at the fish and all. Matthew. Rush in there and <laughs> I get the chest on the next turn. Then after that, hopefully uh, intercept the thief. I take his lockpick. Uh, we need to as close there as possible. Will take out that guy with a three percent critical hit. <laughs> nice one, Will. That was nice indeed. I think next turn I'll have uh, Lorena I'll go up and bait this guy out. So we'll have to watch out for this guy. That will that will attract his attention. Have everybody move forward. Insane. What do I want you to do? Well, obviously, I <laughs> don't want to get shot by that guy. Fireball will struck with a thunder when attacked by that guy on the same turn, so that would be bad. I'm move him up there. He's <laughs> gonna get bum rushed. I think he can handle it. So I bet you if he uses that. Alright, right there he's out of range of both the ranged attackers. I think he can uh, I, I take those guys on. Oh yeah, if they're only doing one damage, he can definitely handle them. <laughs> one measly damage, come on. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna have to fight all three of those guys. Shoot, Matt, got shot. I was really hoping that guy wouldn't shoot there, but yeah. Uh oh. Oh boy. Now we got freaking reinforcements coming. That's not good. Up Dorcas. Move in and attack that archer quickly. That thief's gonna make it to the chest this turn. Gonna quickly get that. Find a hammer! <laughs> it's hammer time! Nice. We'll have Kent dash up there fast before these two <laughs> can't can escape. <clears throat> Take out that thief. Yeah, I would steal that lockpick, but unfortunately, I don't think we can really do that right now. Nils was not in a position to play for math here, so that would not have worked out. But, but what will work out is Will <laughs> taking out that archer. I don't like him. He's stupid. Oh boy, we got a whole mess of a freaking <laughs> the fear users approaching. Plus we got that mage over there. Right now we're gonna focus on this right here. And I think staining, you know, I think staining will be fine up with the sword, so. At least I'll have the weapon triangle advantage against the axe guy. He decides to go first. This guy goes first with the lance. That could be a problem, so. His lance, he can match that guy. Now, these guys don't have javelins, do they? No. 
this one. Marina Stangard there with her javelin. Still not positioned to go play for Dork and Starn. Lens strike that wall. We move forward and play for Lens so she can quickly move aside before those spear users freaking come this way. <laughs> those soldiers. <laughs> I'm move up there. <laughs> Sarah move that way. We'll have her <laughs> fall after her. He's gonna fight Kent and fail miserably as he misses on a 56, but Kent gets a 3% critical. <laughs> uh, just pathetic. Oh boy, we just don't attack. Shh, he attacked Nelson. Missed. <laughs> well, <laughs> that guy sucks. You can't even hit a bar that's just standing right there. That's how you know you suck. <laughs> like, really, that's how you know you suck. Uh oh, here comes some magic units. This is getting a little, this is getting a little bit hairy now. <laughs> All right, Sane, take out that guy before he causes any trouble. Not enough for a level. Well, Lynn. That's a little risky. It's a little risky, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, thank you, Lynn, for getting that critical. Whew. Well, that could have been bad if she didn't. Get, that could have been bad because she didn't get that critical. But and the soldier is gonna get doubled by Will <laughs> as he sucks. Mills can play for Will. He can go and <laughs> take the other guy out. Nice. And Mills is almost <laughs> to a level up. Will can shoot that guy dead. Bang! Nice one. <laughs> and now, without his friends to help him, this mage... This mage is pretty boned. <laughs> Look, most he can do is two damage. And he's dead. Oh! Oh! That nice one. Lorena. We have a hammer that's an axe. So, a Dorcas. So, Dorcas can definitely use that. Let's go ahead and. And that. Hand it over to him. Sarah can heal Matthew. Uh, that one. Huh, ah, nice. I had Sarah, you know, standing in front of, you know, like the chest when she did the healing. You guys just saw it. And, you know, let the battle background there. Cool. Alright, Dorcas. Actually, why don't we move back before these guys uh, start uh, coming down here? Alright, guess uh, I'm gonna fight Lin. And die horribly! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that is gonna hurt in the morning. Hey, there's another nice uh, level up. Awesome. We're actually getting some good <laughs> level ups today. I like it. Sane can't reach there this turn. So I guess it's up to these guys to take these guys out. Or can handle that guy. I guess it's either Cantor or Dorcas can take out the other one. It's a battle of the mages. And Urk wins. <laughs> Because he is Urk. <laughs> Heal. There we go. 
get some experience for Sarah. Oh, Matthew can actually go up and attack him. Uh, he will take some damage, though. I'm sure I like that. Well, Dorcas can try to fight him. I don't know how well that'll go, but we do have Kent there, so... Hit! Shaman's gonna attack. And score a hit. And Dorcas scores a kill. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. It's him left. It's the boss now, but I think we might have some more reinforcements on the way soon. Not sure. I'm not too familiar with this chapter, so let's just move people forward. For him. Come on, Nils. Get some experience. And a, and a level up. Okay. <laughs> yep. That's a pretty <laughs> a typical bard. Uh, I'll level up. Move forward. Matthew, move forward. Kent. Point. All right. No more reinforcements. Good. It would be really nice if I could give Matthew this kill, but that's going to be really tricky to do. This guy has a crit chance, so he could potentially go real poorly. I'm going to wait till everyone else over here before I try it. Before I, I try anything. Sarah can heal in. There, Nils there, so he can play for her. Get some more experience. All right. We're all set for this turn. All right. Let's see what we can do against this guy. Use the lance, that'll bring him down to half health. <laughs> Bayard with a steel sword. Alright, that'll do half his health. Bam! He attacks and does, does, does six damage. Here's a, here's a level for Sane, come on! Okay, Sane, that was a pretty decent level up. More than a... Uh, more than make it up for that last one, that's for sure. Jeez. He's still a, still a little bit behind Kent, but... I don't know. Might have, uh... <laughs> he might have saved himself with that level up. Can Dorcas hit him? No. <laughs> of course not. Will can't get close enough. So let's move up, up Dorcas out of the way. I wonder if Will can take a pot shot at him. We can. And he will. Bam. Four health left. Uh, not her. Oh, Matthew, can you pull this off? Can you get the kill? Can he do it? Yes, he does! Matthew gets the kill! <laughs> what a death quote. It did not level up! Wow! That was 95 experience and he did not gain a level. <laughs> That's crazy! Oh. Failure means death. What? Wow, he killed himself. <laughs> mm. 
There's something going on here. Need Lynn. And we found the ring. Yes. Whew. Well. Okay. That chapter was a little much, but well, we somehow pulled it off. We took down those. I don't know what they were. The brigands or something? I'm not entirely sure, but there was something all right. They were very well organized. <laughs> yeah. Well, we took them down and got the ring back, so I'd say that was a, that was a very successful side chapter. We got some nice and we got some pretty nice uh, uh, a level up today, so is that a sign of things to come? Are things finally starting to improve? Oh shoot, I see some of you shaking your head. Well, still, it's something. So, yep, yeah, I guess uh, that'll, that'll do it for uh, this episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Fire Emblem 7 Blazing Sword. And I guess next time we're gonna we're going to continue to make our way to Castle Kalen now that Ninian and Nils are safe and they have their ring. So I guess until next time, thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you next time for more courage, more daring feats, more hopefully amazing level ups and more bowls of steamy hot porridge.